Hello, 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 guys! Welcome to our channel again. It's been a long, long time since we uploaded a video. We have been very busy. We got married. We moved in. Year, year and a half since we moved in, and having stayed here for a while, we kind of understand what works and what doesn't really work. We just want to show you why we fell in love with this place, and hopefully, you guys will enjoy. This is the entrance of our home. The first thing you'll see is it's a warning sign. A warning sign. Protect the nuts because uh, these bad boys lost theirs, so they're hungry for more. <laughs> I really love about our smart lock is that uh, it's got keypad, card, and fingerprint access, so you can lose everything, lose your memory, lose your card, but you hopefully do not lose your finger. Another thing we absolutely love about home is our jazz. TV. 86 inches, a bit bigger than us. We love watching movies a lot. We love watching Netflix and this is the perfect size when we're just lounging at home and you know, chilling. Yeah, I mean even Panther loves it, right? Yes! Initially, when our interior designer Shu Wen from r and asked us what we wanted with the space, we both really liked the colour white. I think that it's very clean, minimalistic. Okay, me, me, me! I really wanted the colour white. I mean, and white, you honestly, well. no. Because white <laughs> is so easy to get dirty, right? So we've moved in for about a year and a half. And to be honest, yes, we did some touch-up here and there. Um, some minor bumps and scrapes. But other than that, I think our place has remained pretty decent, well maintained. We yes. haven't like repainted the whole place. In the places where we have touched up, it's mainly because our dog like bit off a part of the wall. If you are thinking about getting a white house like us, just ask the painter to leave like a small tub of paint. Yeah. So the same colour that they painted in and then you just do touch-ups yourself once in a while. Yeah, the shoe cabinet behind, it's curved at the sides and our TV feature wall here, there's curves. So yeah, I like curves. Do you like curves? I love the curves. <laughs> now we're going to talk about the things that we really love. We'll talk about the things that we can improve on later. But uh, right off the bat, since we're in the living room, I think we love the fact that we've got a smart home. Hey Google, I'm home! Oh, you can adjust how much you want the curtains to be open. You can adjust the dimness of the lights. I get headaches when there are very strong spotlights. So I do tend to go like 40-50%. When we need to clean the house, it's good to earn it 100%. So the flexibility of the dimness really helps. We leave our home or before we go to sleep, we can just do a master off. This is Josh's favourite. <laughs> hey Google, I'm leaving. Ciao. Another thing every household would have, I particularly like the placement and the brand of ours, would be our OnlyFans. The OnlyFans in the living room. <laughs> our interior designer actually suggested for it to be a black sleek fan. I think um, having an ID who will actually go the extra mile and kind of envision where the sofa will be. So she was like, oh, how far do you think you guys would be away from your TV? What is the size of your TV? Because the size of your TV will affect like where your sofa should be and then that will affect where your fan's gonna be. So if you guys get a good ID, honestly, it's gonna solve like a lot of your problems. And they will think of things that you might not think of because they're so experienced, right? So welcome to my favorite part of the home. Another reason why we love this place is uh, because of the balcony. Nice to look at greenery. We don't have any roads, mm -hmm. no sounds of traffic. We love the peace and serenity of our living room. And yes. when we first walked in, this was the scene that captured our hearts the most. And we were like, yes, this is the place. This is the one. <laughs> We've actually viewed like... I, I, oh, 50 I, over I, Yeah, I say at least 50 over yeah. units before we settled on this one. But the moment we came in, we were like, boom, yeah, this is the one. So mm. day one, we viewed it. Day two, we brought our parents. Day three, we bought it. Yeah. Done. So back to my favourite sofa. We have throws on it because we have dogs and they shed quite a bit. I think no regrets getting a white sofa. I still love it and it's very comfortable. Got it from also Alto Commune. Commune yeah. And we also have this very cute coffee table over here. So once we decided that the concept of the place would be kind of centered around curves, we started picking out, uh, or rather she started picking out <laughs> curved looking uh, yeah. furniture pieces. Yeah. Actually, I spent a long time online searching for furniture. I actually looked at a lot of websites. One of them that I really love is Como. Yep. I got this coffee table and that dining table as well as our mirrors from so Como. So the dining table is also curved. 
our mirrors are also curved in our Yes, bathrooms. they're all from Como. <laughs> yeah. I think it's really unique, like the things they have. So if you're looking for furniture, I recommend them quite a bit as well as... Commune. Commune, So our yeah. couches, both in the living room and the... Study. Study are by Commune. And the one in the study has a pull-out function. So uh, if you have guests who want to crash, they just crash. <laughs> the thing with... The sofa bed is that I don't think you can find a lot of sofa beds that are pretty and also big enough. Usually, sofa beds are like a compromise kind of situation. No, but this but one this no. Because no. I've had COVID like three times. And each time <laughs> Weak. When I, when, yeah, whenever I have COVID, I, I just sleep over there. The curtains are really helpful because we live on the ground floor. And we actually got the day curtains for privacy, but we also got plants outside as well so pretty tall plants actually not a cell it's it's an insect screen it's very common in australia actually and we decided to bring it to singapore as well because we live on the ground floor sometimes mozzies come in and visit from time to time and we recommend for people who are facing like mosquito issues wherever they live we already have this balcony door and then we added this extra layer inside so we got this massive outdoor set from comfort design four chairs and honestly it's massive uh, we love it and it's stood the test of time so far. Not a single scratch or blemish on it. Even though it's been outdoor for so long. Yeah. This rocking chair as well, I think it's really cool. I grew up with my ama, she had a rocking chair as well. But this is like an upgraded kind of rocking chair. It's really nice and uh, yeah. it rocks. Something else I really love personally is this bad boy. The bespoke jet from Samsung. Because real men do housework and I do all the housework here. It's really sleek. The one-stop shop charges, it cleans, empties the vacuum bag inside so you don't have to do anything at all. And this is the lovely dining table I was talking about from Como. Cute white chairs to accompany our dining table. I have been tasked to wear this apron. And now that we're in the kitchen, uh, let's show you around uh, how the master chefs work. So we've got the Wild Beasts Island is from Joaquin. Of this island is because we like to look at the beautiful view of my wife, of course, as she waits for me while I prepare dinner. <laughs> this synthet stone is really good because we can put like hot things or anything so on it. Yeah, usually like once the food come up from the Ding! oven, right? Ding! You can just like chuck it here and it's totally heat proof. Synthet stone is great because it's like scratch proof, heat proof and uh... And it looks brand new, you know, even though proof. we've been... Dog proof. A quick proof. <laughs> Also, another cool thing I found online is this thingy that you can put stuff on and it dries out. Because so, traditionally, like, there's like a stacking thing. Very ugly, right? So my creative wife actually found this online. I didn't want anything on the island as well. You know, those like dish racks thing. That you... We got our place and we were finding a fridge. My requirements are that I need the fridge to be able to make ice. Ice over rice. What really helped was we really picked out the fridge that we wanted ahead of time. So our ID actually helped us to apportion the space to fit our fridge perfectly. If you can pick out your appliances ahead of time, then your ID can actually make provisions to apportion them perfectly to suit your space. For our microwave and our <laughs> oven, we were also specifically designed to fit this space. And it's our height. It's, sorry, it's my height. So I can take things easily. I love this fridge because it's big enough. It's just the two of us here. But, but size matter. We matters. love grocery shopping. My heart is very big right Two freezer compartments. So one for the dogs and one for us. Our dishwasher as well. Yeah. I know a lot of Singaporeans do not use dishwasher, but you're making a huge mistake. Some people have the concept that you waste more water by hand washing dishes and it's less sanitary because the sponge. So you need to change the sponge, obviously, but we found out over the years that dishwasher has its pros. And if, yes. you, if you can accumulate enough stuff to chuck it into one cycle, it makes sense. It's a game changer. This oven is actually an air frying oven. We chose it because Josh wanted to buy an air fryer, but with this oven, we do not need an air fryer. So it's great. So over here, we have our lovely hop and hood from Tikka, um, and also my lovely wife. <laughs> Sorry, I should have. Take two. Over here, we have my lovely wife and our Hobbit Hood from Tikka. Uh, my wife is from Singapore. Now comes the time to say what I would do if I could start over. I, start over what? <laughs> start over. The relationship? The renovation! I do like to cook quite a bit. One of my biggest gripes about an open kitchen is that the smell and the oil, or the oil smell rather, goes everywhere. Like, so I would actually prefer enclosed kitchen. That is something that I would change personally. 
actually, on the other hand, I prefer an open kitchen. She doesn't do heavy cooking. I don't like to do heavy cooking. I don't Why like to cook. Why are you holding cook... my stomach? <laughs> I don't like to cook meat. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Behind the kitchen fan was, okay, let's blow all the smell away, right? But it still blow until travel, until my bedroom. This fan is really good because obviously in Singapore, when we don't on the aircon like 24-7, it gets kind of hot. So mm. when we're cooking, it gets even hotter. My wife is also very particular about portable fans. It has to look a certain way. She tried yeah. to mitigate it by having fixed location fans yeah. in the key areas of our place. So kitchen, living room, study and bedroom. Yeah. Moving on. To the rest of our kitchen, you can see it's a very cute. It's a well-sized washing machine, very good for the two of us. This space actually didn't exist. Our ID just thought that it's nice to have something here to increase our storage space. So we have this part that installed firstly to cover... Let me see if it's messy. It is messy, but just close your eyes. So <laughs> to cover the rubbish chute, if cockroaches or rats come out of it, at least it's contained, right? But so far, it's been okay. You don't get any sort of weird smell as well. This area over here, which ID very cleverly put like this space so that we can put our luggage. Oh well, yes, I bought cream coloured cookware. <laughs> Everything in our apartment is so white, so yes, it's cream coloured and cream coloured rice cooker. <laughs> as well as my happy machine. It gives me ice water, I love to drink ice water and also I do not like to boil water, so <laughs> it gives me hot water and cold water. I love it, I have nothing to complain, I live very happily ever after. <laughs> this is another space that is hidden, you wouldn't know what this is. Guess. Bomb shelter. The walk-in bomb shelter. <laughs> this is where I store Josh. Nice knowing you. <laughs> See you next year. Uh, I'll just take you through it. Here we have the dryer. I think that dryers are not really necessary in Singapore, but they are because we have so they much are. rain. Uh, so on so much rain. rainy days, I just chuck it in here. So we've got our dry pantry with all our Favorite pasta? Really like this place because our guests don't really see the mess. We got our lights from Soul Luminaire. I think it's totally worth it because they are LED and the designs are pretty unique and it suits the theme perfectly. So the thing about living close to the water is that there's a lot of water. <laughs> Singapore is really pretty humid as it is. That's why we actually got these. For us, we tried everything. We tried like small units like a thirsty hippo things i highly recommend if you're staying again near the water or you just feel like your place is really humid get one of these i now study uh, this is our pull-out sofa um, basically it pulls out into a queen yes. mattress and it's super super comfy i've stayed here many times not because i misbehave but because I, I, if i'm sick or I have very sensitive skin <laughs> i always feel that certain fabrics are too rough so this is sweet, it's perfect, and my dogs love it as well. Actually, this is like their bit. They like to sit here and chill and, yeah. and watch us when we're at work, because this is also our study. They sleep here, this is like a dear bit. Really, really proud of this space because my wife actually put it together for me. Got all the nice little pictures of us uh, to remind me who I'm married to, in case I forget. I'm most productive here. The chair is also super important. We actually got these from Comfort Design and is really comfortable. Because I sit here for like, what, easily half a day at a time. And then of course I go out, take walks, but my back has always been a bit of a problem for me because I've got a weak back. Because so, he's old. You like old men, because old men come with many, many problems. So, and um, money. Especially if you sit long, you need a good chair. Yeah. So I, I'm, I really genuinely like these chairs. So very flexible. Like you yeah. can lean backwards and you can customize it to and what like you like. The, the armrests go up, down. We have gas. Obviously, we can put the binds down. Uh, just the remote or using the app. It's a full blackout kind of situation and our guests can sleep well. Ah, there we go. So for me, it's a bit different. I just need somewhere to do my makeup <laughs> and hair. I also want the flexibility of having a workspace, so I told my ID that I want something that I can flip up into a makeup area. And then if I want to work, I can just put my laptop or my iPad and I can just work here. So I find this very comfortable compared to a lot of other models that I've tried. Thing is because there is this mesh behind that is really thin so it's not warm and I can also like lean on the mesh and it accommodates the shape of your spine so I have a very protruding spine over here. When we were designing our study, our ID also told us that she thought of this 
strip of LED light on top of our desk. These are the two other items in our study that we would go crazy without. It's number one, our fan. Number two, our aircon from Prism. Actually, I got the Prism aircon when it was first launched and I was kind of worried about it because like no one knew that Prism could do aircons back then. And so far, so good actually. I really like it. It's been a year and a half and it's really really strong i think that i would really go crazy without because it keeps us cool when we're hot cool <laughs> having a corner fan it's sleek and it just fits our study perfectly i think that our id actually suggested that works really well for us is our towels so they are massive if you can see they are really really big towels and not a lot of contractors had the expertise to put them in i know that one took a while you need Quite a lot of skill for that and uh, the guys finally came through for us. It is our guest bathroom. As you can see, this is the mirror that I was talking about from Como. Shape is very unique. I also had our dogs wear suits. Shout out to Jasper, thank you for the photos. But if you come and visit us, do say hi to them. <laughs> Toilet. This space is a bit more gunmetal, man cave vibe. We chose mostly grey or dark colours. This is our master quite open. You can see the greenery all around us. You can also see beautiful people taking baths <laughs> because of this tempered glass or if we choose to have some privacy while we take a poop, then uh, we can turn it off. Yeah. But this is really cool though because the original idea behind it was if we're taking a bath, we don't want it all frosted up because it gets quite claustrophobic. So that's why we have it open or off. Yeah. So I actually played around with the idea of an open bathroom. Obviously, from time to time, we still need our privacy, so we got this glass. This is one of my favourite places. I think also your favourite place, actually, because it's super, super comfortable. I mean, we invested really well in our sheets, number one. We got really, really high thread counts, which yeah. is important. We got tensile, which is really, really cooling to the skin. And our bed itself is like super, super comfortable. From comfort design, it's mm -hmm. also adjustable. So yeah. you can adjust to go up and go down. And even to which side you want to go. If we're watching a film on the projector and she wants to be propped up, it can be just her side. And then if I want to be propped up, it can be my side. So it's totally up to us. Super, super cool and most importantly, very, very comfortable. We got a projector from Lumos. It doesn't compromise on the quality of the show, which I really appreciate. So I have our wardrobe over here. But if you're like me, if you have a lot of things, probably you will need another wardrobe space. My ID suggested that we should use black tinted glass. We did want it to be clear, but on hindsight, having it tinted is really a lifesaver because we're not going to be like 100% organized all the time, right? He did say that unless you're going to wear only white and black, if not, your wardrobe is going to be very messy. Yeah. This space over here is our master bathroom. The theme is a bit more cream, a bit more gentle, a bit more soothing compared to the common bath. That is the end of our home tour. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys liked it. And if you're a first home owner or buyer, like hopefully our insights gave you some insights. Insight. The insights of a house give you some insights. Insight. Um, most of the stuff we were pretty happy with. Um, in fact, I think one of the biggest resources we found were stuff online. Certain items that you need to go in person, in store to really touch, feel and experience, especially like faucets and stuff that you need to be sure of the dimensions. So what is one thing you love about our apartment? My wife, because she's often in it. So what's one non-living thing or one feature of our home that you love the most? It'll be the workspace because okay. I never had my own study. So to be able to work from home with my work setup the way it is, mm. I really love it. I get a lot of stuff done in my office. It and... is weirdly productive yeah. at home. And everything was set up by my wife. So how about you? The fans. <laughs> I'm so glad I installed fans in every corner of the home. Thing that you would improve on for this home. I wish we had more storage space that are within reach. We have quite high ceilings, yeah. so... Um, and you do need certain tools like your husband or a ladder or a stool to access those That's locations. one. And also if you're carrying heavy things and then yeah. you need a ladder, you need very good arm strength, which I do not have. Also another tip, invest in a good ladder. Cleaning or reaching in hard to reach places, you really need a solid one. Yeah, and invest in a very good husband so you can do all the work. Yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching and thank you. see you next time.